Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Well, Demon Hunter was just nerfed, so what is Demon Hunter to do? And here is the answer. The new Demon Hunter archetype, well, it's still a Naga Demon Hunter. It still shares many of the similarities to the old Aggro Demon Hunter deck, but this time it makes use of Zillag of the Abyss. Zillag, Colossal, at the start of the turn, increase the damage of Zillag's stalks by one, summoning four stalks. They deal two damage to random enemies. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. And how to best make use of Silag? And the best way to make use of Silag is with Carrier Fell Soul. Yeah, a legendary that I had never played before until I ran into this archetype that people have now been experimenting with. Valkyrie transform into a 6 6 copy of a demon in your deck. And if the only demon in your deck is Silag, then as long as you draw Carrier before you draw Silag, Carrier becomes a cheaper and better Silag. And then you will still have the real Silag coming later. So Boom, boom, that gives the deck quite a lot of finishing power. There are a couple of different takes on this deck. There's this Carrier Fell Soul Silag style. Then there's also a bit more Fell Demon Hunter style that also runs Fell Gorgers, which are demons. You can't run those demons if you run Carrier, then that just makes it useless. And that variant, of course, runs Jace. And I was trying out this list, this this is slightly modified from the main carrier list because I'm running Jace Darkweaver in this one, and I'm not really sure whether you want to run Jace in this or not. What we know from statistics by now is that it's better to run Carrier than it is to run Fell Gorgers. It's better to have the opportunity for the Carrier high roll than it is to have more demons and more Fell stuff going on. But whether you should also run Jace or not, that's still unknown at this point. But yeah, Naga Demon Hunter Shell, also getting to use stuff like School Teacher. School Teacher, a real strong card. A little bit of dissynergy in this specific list because the knuckling from School Teacher, even if you get a Fell spell for that, then Jace will not repeat that spell because it's not really a spell that you cast, it's a battle cry effect. But anyway, good strong cards. Curtis Demon Render, still an excellent hero card. And that Carrier High Roll possibility. Carrier actually being the best performing card in this list. And as for the mulligan with the deck, on the other hand, you're trying to find your traditional aggro demon hunter cards, Dread Prison Glaive, Battle One Vanguard, getting a good start with those, Sigil of Alacrity also a good keep, getting some more card draw, and Carrier. Carrier is a card that you want to keep in the mulligan, because you really, really want to draw Carrier and not draw Zillag, and that's the main power move of this deck. Because you also have Wayward Sages in the deck, so sometimes it's possible that you have Carrier and you get to Wayward Sage your Carrier, so Carrier can become 5 cost and then it just comes out really early. And yeah, some crazy stuff can happen. A lot of Hearthstone deck building recently is just trying to find these broken things. And like Carrier, Silak combo can fail. Sometimes you draw Silak first and well, then you're kind of in trouble, at least as far as that combo goes. But hey, you still have the opportunity to do broken stuff that instantly wins you the game. And that's big Hearthstone, I guess. Be that as it may, I actually had a pretty fun time playing with this deck. Had 71% win rate while playing this. Also was able to make good use of Silak even when I didn't find Carrier. So fun times. And this is what it all looks like in action. But the real problem is just how how dull Sunken City is. And you can't fix that with a balance patch. But for a balance patch, yeah, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good balance patch. Paladin was the worst matchup for this type, right? I think it was. So that's kind of a bad thing. Do they have a buff for that? I'm going to make the bet that they don't have a buff for that. But let's see. There's a lot of Mech Paladins. Yeah, Mech Paladin is very common. Mech Paladin and Hand Buff Paladin. They're probably the two best decks at the moment. But they both still have weaknesses. Now they need a buff for this, so they need a rush minion. And I don't think they have either of those things. This one doesn't actually do anything here. But I can multi strike now. So I can hit into this one. This one can hit into that one. And I can also hit into this one. And then I can equip the glaive. I wasn't able to honorably kill either of those anyway. 
I promise. Okay, they got their buffed up minion. I did get something on this board. As long as they don't have a Samuro. Right? Oh, that's a little annoying. So, I can get the four attack. One, two, three. This will have to go anyway. Oh, that sucks. But it is what it is. I can play this one first, see if I can draw something useful here. Not useful enough. So this goes in, this goes in, this goes in. If I want the face damage, I have to sacrifice this first. We don't need the face damage. But we do need to get rid of that minion. I will rather I will rather keep the I'd rather have a couple of more one ones on the board. Did I forget to update the We needed to cast the other spectral site here. Maybe it's fine. I want to equip another Dread Prison Glaive now. Or potential multi striking next turn. I guess I might. Then I have more, more attacks remaining. Okay, click clocking. I'm going to just face tank that that one right. I would mold the strike. I suppose something like that has got to happen. I don't necessarily have to face tank it though. I could also just do spell spell buffer fist. We'll open with the spectral side anyway. Does that change something? I think we can do it like this. Get over there. Get those hits in. Take the trades. I have Zillak coming next turn with the Stalks. We just hope they don't have Cariel. Just the mothership. Okay. No worries. Ooh, Kurtress. I guess we'll take that hit over there. And they're going to get the discounts. Well, it happens. Unless I go with the Kurtress. Kurtress can prevent the discounts. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. I can kill these without giving them any discounts. And these are three health, so if, even if they play Cariel now, these don't die. I think this is fine. Cariel Storm. Thanks. <laughs> What's up? Nearly finished my task for all my mercs. Top 10 that are not maxed out. The best way to get coins is to farm heroic 1-1 one -one with them. That was a little sad. Just a little, though. Silax Talk should be able to handle those. Now I just need to hope that there's no carry L coming. Two damage from a stalk, so they should kill both of those. Okay. Now they need Cariel or Samuro. We'll see. Really? It's not too heavy. Let's see. Initializing the set. No Cariel? Okay. Battle 
I didn't manage to figure out where I have lethal here. Oh, of course I did, because the stalks attack and then I can just keep hero powering. Wow. Hey, let's see. I've seen Rammstein once. When they were performing in Finland. I mean, they have been to Finland many, many times. But I have I have only been watching... Them. I have only... Watched, watched them once here. Hmm... If I coin this, uh, that still doesn't get me anywhere. They can't coin, though. They can play a 2-3 two, two next turn. If they play, were to play a 2-2... Two, two, I actually think I will coin this. Let's see. Which is the best deck? You can find the best decks video on my YouTube channel. It tells you everything you need to know. But Paladin decks are pretty good right now. And then on the 5th of July. Awesome. I saw them on the Rise Rise tour. It's been a while. Chaos Strike. So I can kill that. And get some 1 1s on the board. Let's hope they won't find a buffer or fist. A 3-4 pirate that gives them plus 2 attack would be the ideal card for this position. Let's see if they have that one. And then Puffer Fist for next turn. That would be the dream curve. Okay. Well, yes, decks often are expensive and require a lot of dust. That is, that is a feature. Each star, a foe vanquished. But there are other decks too. <laughs> in fact, there are 13 decks in that video. So plenty to choose from. Okay, we're going to do this now. Buffer Fist would still be ideal. We're gonna need more gun cannoneer isn't bad. Some more risks with the Cannoneer, but... Still not bad. You just swing into one of the 1-1s. One and then there's a good chance that the Cannoneer at least kills the 2-2. Two, two. And sometimes you get the Jackpot. Which is even better. And I will have to do school teacher now. More fell barrages. I think we could do more fell barrages. I will have to predation the cannoneer, of course. All right. Okay, that's not too bad, but they have a one cost pirate. It's gonna be a problem. No oh, one cost pirate, okay. Good, good. I can just cast Fell Barrage with this. It will kill that and hit into this one. So this one will cast Fell Barrage. I can do another school teacher here. Plus two attack fury. Is that good enough? I think it is. I kill that one with the glaive and this one goes to the dome. Alright, they're going to get the They're going to get the two damage to random enemy twice this turn. We're gonna need more and they had another cannoneer. Okay, so they're going to get four four random hits. How bad is it going to be? Okay, three cannoneers is pretty good. Three cannoneers is pretty strong. That's six random hits, so... Okay, they didn't actually manage to go. Okay, I will have to mull this strike. Yeah, I will have to mull this strike here. Take this down, right? I could fell barrage one of them down. Fell barrage... Mold this strike 
hit, hit. Yeah, that's the way. We'll fill barrage one of them down. Then I'm going for the multi strike. I can first hit over here. It also deals damage to the face. I can hero power to deal more damage to the face. And this can go face. And I can get the alacrity out there. Alright. Now we have survived three Defias Cannoneers. What's up next? Oh, that's really, really strong. I'm afraid I don't have anything that beats that one. Looks like I died. Sad times. Cannoneer, Gargo God, and Freebooter. Oh, looks like I survive, right? So, three, six. Wee! I survived after all. Good fun times. Good fun times. Wee! Alright. For a moment there I thought I was in trouble, but I wasn't. And this is a little bit interesting, this hand. Let's see. Opening up with the sigil. Then I would have like Vanguard coin hero power. Against the beasts. I guess we're going for it. We'll see. Want to hit into that one, I guess. Where is this deck from? Well, the original list was from HS Replay, but I made some modifications. No U turn, really? Wow. Some unexpected stuff. This will need the sage. Hero power that one down. Okay. I like it, do you? Mm, well, it's hearthstone. They have so many, so many copies of beasts. I would have to be a much faster here than I am. Is this the way? So, emergency maneuvers or ice trap, I guess. So many things I don't want to have ice trapped here. But I guess I can let go of the spectral site. Focus spectral site will be unplayable, but I don't have to play it. It's okay. We can put that in the ice trap. Right, the buffer of fist and just hit face. They will have a lot of beasts coming though. Too many. Too many, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's how it begins. They have explosive drop in the deck, but not necessarily in hand. Too bad I don't have the Dread Prison Glaive, so I think the Sage is just going to... I mean, I'm going to have to kill that one first. I think I will sacrifice the Sage. Then push the tree the dome. They definitely run explosive drop in the deck, so if they have it, then... It's just really strong here. 
If Beast Hunter has some healing like Skyheart and Dire Frenzy. I guess. Siren Saber, okay. And Peasant? Look at that stuff. I guess we'll do a fell barrage. We trade there and we trade there. And we'll do a fell barrage from this one. I guess we'll take the discounts now. Okay, but if they can dredge that sunken saber, that's gonna be a problem. So many potential problems. More Rat Kings too. That doesn't wake this up. Not yet. I still have a bit, of, bit more time. Oh, that was so good though. That was so good. How much more time do I have? Not a ton of time. My blood boils for war. I see. Everything coming at the wrong time. How about that? Well, this goes over there. Another fell barrage. That wakes up. I'll trade that away with these. Please go to the dome. But all they need is a bear. Or Hydralodon. They have that one discovered beast and that should be a good one. But I don't think I have an answer to whatever it is. I beam. I think we need to see Chill right. Pick me, pick me. Fury and hero power. If this goes in, I'll go in. Maybe I should have killed one of the cubs. We'll see. Looks bleak no matter what. I really felt I needed the card draw there. Like this this kind of play gives me like a potential out with Silag. Does it give me anything with Chase? I'm not sure if I have played enough fell spells. Well, okay. Can I get to six attack? Two attack, four attack, six attack. Yes. One attack, two attack. Four attack, six attack, and I'm wielding the glaive, which means that that damage is going to the dome. And padow. Yeah, I wanted to push everything to face, including the predation, in case I happen to get get something like that, Curtis. But I needed the card draw to. Get a better chance to get that Curtis. Thank you for watching.
If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitch channel.